football observers throughout the year. Hello, I'm Jim Simpson, and welcome back to Super Bowl Highlights. Today is Super Bowl IX, New Orleans, Louisiana. Through the first eight Super Bowls on our highlight shows, I've not mentioned two words, Pittsburgh Steelers. It all changed on this bitter day down in New Orleans, Louisiana, in their first Super Bowl ever. Minnesota back for the second straight year and the third time of the 70s. Two things to root for. Here's Minnesota. They had never won. This is their third try in the Super Bowl, back where they lost their first appearance to Kansas City. But here are the Pittsburgh Steelers with a wonderful gentleman by the name of Art Rooney, the owner. For whom do you root? Steelers for Steelers, Vikings for Vikings. A lot of sentiment in this game. And it was a bitter cold day, as we said. But it was the beginning of an era not for the Vikings, but for the Pittsburgh Steelers. As you will see and remind yourselves when we come back with Super Bowl IX from New Orleans. In the dressing room after the game, everybody thrilled that this wonderful gentleman, his team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, had won the National Football League title. I think some of that sentiment kind of oozed away in the years that followed because Rooney's team came back again and again and again. And by the end of the Super Bowl of 1980, he had won four Super Bowl rings in four Super Bowl tries. Super Bowl IX was truly the beginning of an era, the era of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Bill Walsh and his staff and a team that's compounded pro football observers throughout the year. 